Okay, hi everyone. Welcome to my session on automate innovation. And today in this session, we are going to learn about the differences between two of the best automation tools available in the market today, undoubtedly that is Serenium and QTP. So before we get into the details of these two automation tools, it's very important to be familiarize ourselves as to what are these tools and why are they required in the market today? What was the necessity that these two such kind of automation tools are available and they have their own purpose as well. So manual testing today, as all the industries, they widely have adopted from a long time, but manual testing as such, it's kind of a repetitive testing. We have to test fun functional testing. Then we have to do some modular testing, right? Then we have to do some end-to-end -end testing. But let's say a developer has done some fix and that has indirectly impacted some other modules, which may have, you know, been indirectly impacted because of the other module having some issue fix being done. Then that module also may get some issue. So, Manual tester here in this case cannot do entire regression testing within a very less span amount of time because even often the timelines are going to be very stringent for the testing team to complete their stage execution then followed by the dry run and then you know the final preparation for the release right so it's going to be very tight for the testers to go and test the entire thing and even physically and as a practically it's not that uh, easy so automation testing comes into picture here where it allows the tester to carry out regression testing and with full trust that it's going to be full fledged uh, working fine and not to worry about the results part. So in market today, we have different kinds of tools available in, uh, for doing the automation. Uh, so we are going to talk about the automation of web browsers, be it any application like a Windows based application or a desktop application or any other application for that matter. Right? So what are the tools which support these kind of applications? So we'll have a look at it and in a moment now. So what is Selenium? So I'll be sharing another video with you all as to give a small introduction about Selenium. So just to give you a short intro in this meeting or in this particular session. So Selenium is basically an open source automated tool, which is used for automating web applications. So web applications as in like we can go to any website, we are like an e-commerce website or any uh, banking website or some other website for that matter, right? So whichever application you might want to automate. So those web applications we can automate using Selenium but it does not automate desktop applications or any other kind of applications which are not through web browser. So that is not supported by Selenium directly. So what do we do in those situations? So we have other tools available in the market and one of the popular tool available is QTP. So QTP was, um, you know, a very popular tool launched long back and uh, it was, you know, used for automating both desktop and web applications. So still it's very much popular and it's a commercial tool. It's a license based tool. So it's not free of cost, whereas Selenium it's free of cost. So companies, they do think of either to go for Selenium or to go for QTP based on their requirements. So based on the budget and the project requirements and what application feasibility is depending on that, they make a call as to go for Selenium or QTP. Okay, now let's look into the key advantages of Selenium over QTP tool. So Selenium, as we discussed, it's an open source tool. It's free of cost and it's available in the market. And we can just uh, download the jars available over the net and add it to our project and then we can get started. So it needs some programming language uh, to be known by the user whoever is going to use Selenium tool. So that's there. It supports multiple operating systems. So it's not just going to stick with Windows operating system. So it can support multiple operating system like Linux, Windows, and uh, you know Solaris and any other operating system for that matter. It's going to support all of them, majority of them for that matter. It supports multiple browsers. So Firefox, IE, Chrome, Safari, uh, whatever browser you name, which is available today, it supports majority of them. It can support mobile automation. So mobile automation here, we are talking about mobile web browser. And even there is another tool available, 
which can do mobile app automation testing as well. That is called Appium. So we have other tools also apart from Appium available. So with the help of Selenium and with some other tools available, we can do mobile automation testing as well. It supports parallel execution. So what do you mean by parallel execution here? So this is something very much important from a tester's mindset and what a company requires from their testing team. It's because the time is limited and if the tests to be carried out are in huge number, then parallel execution is the need of the R. So with this parallel execution, what would happen is your test would be executed parallel across different browser, across different machine. So it's going to save your execution time. And at the same uh, time, you're basically able to rely on the results given by automation and just share those results with the management. So it's going to save everyone's time and money as well. The next most important advantage of Selenium is that it supports usage of multiple programming languages. So it's not just going to be one language like Java. It can support Java, Python, Ruby, Perl. So it's just like such a wide variety it provides uh, with respect to whatever features it has. So it's one of the best tools available in the market today with respect to open source. Now let's look into the other aspect that is from a QTP perspective. What are the advantages of QTP over Selenium? And why is that some companies, even though Selenium is an open source, why do they go for QTP? There is something uh, important to understand. What are the features of QTP which win over Selenium in some aspects? QTP will be able to automate both web as well as desktop applications. That is why for desktop applications, it's one of the best tools available in the market and it can have so much of rich features in it that it can directly automate the web desktop application without any issue with just some license costs which the company if they are okay with the budget then they can go for it it has a built-in object repository now this is very much important is because when you are automating a desktop or a web application the script would keep on automating the elements which are seen on the ui right and as it identifies an element it will automatically add to its repository so that repository we are calling it as object repository here so in qtp as it identifies an element like an image or a button or a text box or whatever uh, actions we are doing on the ui so while it's recording it will also identify the elements and add it to its object repository automatically we need not do anything explicitly and here they are using visual basic as the language to do the recording part. It has a proper customer support in case the customer has you know, faced any issues with the QTP tool. They can directly send a mail, they can get customer support and they can get it fixed. Another advantage is that it allows the user as well as the actions done with the script to be done within the browser or within the system as well. It's because it will it will allow you to interact with any app in your operating system or be it any of the icon in your browser. So it will allow us to do any action within the browser as well. So it is rich in features as compared to Selenium. And that is why when we are talking about those features being used while recording the scripts and then playing them back, it is much faster than Selenium. Right. And what is the other big advantage? So here the test reports get generated automatically. So once your script is completed, you would be able to see that the test reports have been saved and you would be able to see it in a proper, nice featured format and we can share with the management directly. But in Selenium, even though we don't uh, have any built-in support, it needs to rely on usage of third party tools and like there are different tools available today. So with the usage of that, we could then have the reports obtained with some kind of a UI formatting, right? So these were the advantages of QTP over Selenium. So we saw previously the advantages of Selenium over QTP. So what is that comes to a mind? Which one should we go for Selenium or QTP? So that's kind of a, often a confusion which everyone lands in, especially the companies and the project leads and the automation leads as to what tool to go for. So the answer for this is that it depends on the project budget. If the project budget demands that it needs a well-versed tool, which will 
allow us to automate and it is scalable for a long period of time and they can afford to go for a commercialized tool and it's let's let's say for example they are having a banking application and they also have banks desktop applications as well so utilizing a common tool here would be the best one to go for so that will be qtp but let's say the project budget doesn't allow us to go for any commercialized tool or in a long run it will not be feasible and they might need the requirements to be scalable over some framework and usage of multiple different kind of programming languages or if the customer says they want it to be distributed across multiple systems and the execution to happen in parallel right so that's a very obvious thing that selenium will be the winner here because it supports parallel execution which qtp doesn't allow and it can allow us to use multiple programming languages and multiple os as well so it's not just linked to windows operating system so what if customer decides okay they want to automate over linux or they want to automate over some other operating system like mac so it's not going to be easy again to change a framework from qtp back to selenium so the choices are going to be had have to be done at the start of your automation feasibility study so what do we do in automation feasibility study we need to assess our application we need to understand okay what is the features of our application what is that we have requirements from our customer to automate the application for right so depending upon these requirements we have to draw a chart as to what advantages and what are the different features we would need from an automation framework and then decide which tool to go for so my personal choice would be selenium uh, since it's open source and since it supports uh, parallel execution it will be much faster and we can also scale our framework at a later point of time and we can use selenium grid to have multiple execution or parallel execution achieved so it will also support multiple os so in for that case if customer wants it to be installed in their machine or it to be configured it's not going to take much of a time if the framework and if all the code is in a working condition it just needs to be configured in their system and then it's all ready to go for yeah that's all we have on this uh, session so hope you like this video and please do like and subscribe my channel if you would want to view such kind of other tutorials i'll be soon starting with my selenium sessions so Stay tuned. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.